so we made it through the holidays, I think. I mean, now we're in dry January. Some of us are probably trying to detox for 30 days here in January. A lot of us are still in our continuation of sobriety. And then maybe others are maybe just kind of sober curious. So what I want to talk about in this video is just, you know, how I'm getting through the holidays or how I got through the holidays and how I'm kind of getting through dry January and a couple things that I'm implementing to to reassure myself that I can get through the holidays in dry January. Uh, first things first, the holidays were were pretty, pretty interesting. It was jam packed with being social. My birthday was in January, it was January 5th. Big, big happy birthday to me. We had New Year's Eve. We also had Christmas, Christmas Eve. There was a lot of social elements in the holidays. So for me, I think what helped was just knowing going into the holidays is that I will be challenged not necessarily to drink, but also to just kind of to lean off my healthier lifestyle, meaning maybe indulging in a little bit of sugar, maybe going off my my healthier eating habits and stuff like that. So knowing that, knowing that I'm going to do that, there's all there's nothing wrong with doing things in moderation. You know, you're going to be eating out or you're going to be eating at other people's homes and you just don't have any control over where you're going to eat. As you all know, in my no added sugar, 14 day challenge, I kind of screwed that up multiple times, but I'm not going to beat myself up over it because just because you mess up on one day doesn't mean you got to throw away all the 30 days or 60 days that you've actually was trying to do something and you just kind of screw up on one or two days. It's not the end of the world. We still got today and in, 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 in moving forward. So with dry January, I think what helped me is to find things to do that's not necessarily sitting at a bar and having drinks. For example, I mean, I don't know where you live in the world, but give or take, the weather could be nice or it could be not. But I mean, for me, I did a lot of things that were, that required to just be active. So, I mean, I went bowling for my birthday, which was great. I mean, we were able to bowl, eat and drink for those who wanted to drink. And I went paintball. So being able to just kind of have things to do that's not like sitting at the bar really, really did help me through the first stages of dry January. And another thing is to try to find substitutes for alcohol. Like for me, I love drinking tea. Sometimes I'll have like some green tea or some black tea or even like some just non-caffeinated tea depending on the time of day. And I love some sparkling water. And thanks to my fiance, she ended up getting me a soda stream. And ever since I've like not been drinking, I've been definitely drinking nothing but sparkling waters. And, uh, and speaking of sparkling waters, I need, let me go make one right now. I'm telling you, I drink about two, three of these joints every freaking day, man. I'm telling you, I, I have my go-tos, like my like a, like my Topo Chico, my Hop Waters. So those, I'm telling you, those have been probably a lifesaver, especially when I'm not, when I'm craving something that's not necessarily water. <sighs> Soda stream, I love it. So yeah, just doing stuff like that will help you because I feel like when you have op when you have items and options that's not in that's not alcoholic. Then, then it's a little bit easier. Even even New Year's Eve, I had some non-alcoholic champagne, which I didn't even think would even exist. So just being able to, to have those those items helps you a lot, quite a bit. And when there's times where I feel like I wanna just like kind of go out and do like the things that I used to do back in the day, like when I'm done with work, I'll go do like a little little uh, trip down to my spot and I like, have a couple of beers during happy hour, but because I don't really do that anymore, now my thing is, Instead of spending an hour or an hour and a half just doing, just sitting at a bar, having a couple of drinks and just packing on extra calories that I don't need, now I'll just take that 30 minutes and I'll go for a nice little jog now just because that jog is like my new dopamine hit. So after, every time after, after a run, I honestly feel really great. So that's just 30 minutes, 45 minutes out of my day. I like to just be able to throw my headphones in and just get, just hit the road. 
I love it. It's so, so, so therapeutic. And like I said, sometimes it's really hard to avoid situations where you might end up at a bar, at a restaurant, or just uh, surrounding yourself around people who are probably drinking. And as long as they understand that, hey, I'm doing this dry January thing, or I'm new to sobriety, and uh, hopefully you guys can support me. Even if you just had like a little glass of water with a little lime in it, or like maybe a soda or something like that, if you don't really care about the added sugar, then you're fine. Like no one should be able to question you on that. And if you're at a brewery, hopefully they have some non alcoholic alcoholics for you. If not, just try not to, you know, make it, a, you know, a big deal. It's only two hours of your day and you're just trying to be, you know, social. And at the end of the day, you don't even have to really go if you don't want to. You can make up an excuse. I make up excuses all the time. I'm like, hey, I'm too busy doing this. Well, I'm working. I'm doing that. So there's always a way around it if you, if you, if you really want to like avoid the situation. And a lot of people in their videos like to mention, you know, like they're not doctors and stuff and they're going off their experience. And I'm hoping you guys think the same thing about me. Like, I decided not to drink for, it's been almost, it's been seven months now that I haven't been able to drink and I just decided, I didn't even tell my doctors about it, I just went on ahead and be like, I'm gonna just quit drinking, but I don't wanna be responsible for if you decide to quit for like 30 days and then on the, on the third day you foaming at the mouth and now you, you in the comments yelling at me, talking about you, you uh you up in the bed like sick and foaming and twitching and I'm like look this is these are my experiences and I'm just trying to encourage and inspire y'all but if you really feel like you need to get your doctors involved just give your daughters a heads up and be like hey it's January it's it's, it's halfway through but I just want to do two weeks of no alcohol is that is that is that good for me or if you just know your body you know you can easily just get off and do like two weeks or whatever and you and be okay boom just don't come at me because because you foaming at the mouth or something like that because you know everybody's different but I, I was okay you know I was all, I was all right all right so I just want to get that out there because I know a lot of people like to throw that little disclaimer out there so I want to be very responsible and do that but I'm gonna wrap this up and just let y'all know like I mean there's ways to just be able to to get through and those are some of my tips you know just having some sparkling water or something some type of beverage that ain't booze around you should help you and and if you still want to be social just like find yourself ways to find new hobbies that doesn't doesn't really require you sitting at a bar or or just drink it like if you want to do stuff at the house and you want to have game nights just make sure you got some snacks and some and some drinks that doesn't really require alcohol you know or if you still want to go out and be social and hit up the bar just know like okay I'm gonna be tested for an hour and a half can I do it you know and then when you do it you'll feel so proud of yourself just being able to go there and hang out and then you wake up the next day and you ain't even hung over you don't feel that extra anxiety effects from alcohol you don't feel sluggish no brain fog for the day or any lingering like tiredness or slugginess you just wake up 100 percent and still had a good time that day so i just think just if you're trying to go through this dry january or you're just trying to start trust me the benefits are there the benefits are great from just not drinking alcohol and i'm wishing you all the success for this dry january and i hope you guys all made it through the holidays too because the holidays is a huge test for me, it, the test was the sugar. Now, I'm trying to do no added sugar. I was starting over again. I'm on day six or seven, and I'm telling you, I'm, we, 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 we gonna successfully do 14 days, and if I successfully do 14 days, we're gonna go a whole 30, all right? And if I go a whole 30, we'll do a video about it. Hit, hit up the comments, let me know, even though this is more about sobriety, but let me know if y'all interested in doing like a no added sugar, challenge with me for 30 days in February, well, 28 days in, in, in February, because for me, when you know that other people are relying on you to like kind of like push through a challenge, then I feel like it's it, it, it just feels more rewarding and, and even more inspiring to try to accomplish it because you know you got other people cheering your own because I didn't really have nobody cheering me on for that 14 day no sh added sugar joint and I'm telling you it was it was tough. But I feel like if I knew that some people were doing it with me or if people were just cheering me on prior to wanting to do the Nobody Sugar, I think I can get through it. Because I know a lot of people in the comment section in a couple of my videos were saying that, yeah, like I'm trying to do this no alcohol thing, but my, my issue right now is battling through the sugar addiction or not even an addiction, but just the sugar cravings. That first month, I was literally like wanting ice cream and random chocolate. I don't even, I never crave sweets like that. But ever since I stopped drinking, I always have a sweet tooth now, I feel like. Anyway, that's a whole nother subject. I just wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit about um, how to survive the holidays and how to get through dry January. If you just need a little help and a little push, 
Trust me, I'll always be cheering you guys on no matter what it is, if it's just a temporary thing or if you're just really trying to get into sobriety. I'm here for you. I'm here, for this. I'm here to support you. Until next time, I see you when I see you. Peace!